Hello, this is Juliana Sproles checking in for the candle making session for March 21st, 2020. These are coronavirus cancellation candles. So I'm going to show you how to make a homemade beeswax candle. First, let's light our amber kombucha bottle candle that I mentioned in one of my previous videos that we made. So I hand cut this bottle and polished it. It's been burning for a while now. All right, we have the stage set with our amber kombucha bottle. Let's see if you can see. Those wicks are still too long. I need to trim them, but I kind of like the wildfire. We need a lot of energy to clear out this fire stone. All right, so this is the video for the 21st of March, and I'm going to run through this as quickly as I possibly can, but methodically. All right, so you'll need some beeswax. You will need some wick. Whoopsie. All right. You will need, this is square braid cotton wick. You will need some wick tabs, sustainer tabs to hold your wick to the bottom of your container. We're making a container candle today. You will need the adhesive, either a glue stick or these adhesive high heat adhesive glue dots for the bottom of the wick tabs and a few other items. All right, so I have this cut glass. I cut it and polished it. As I said, it um, is a recycled kombucha bottle from this brand. You can go in and find out which wonderful kombucha that is. I like the thickness of this bottle. So I cut it, we'll do a cutting um, tutorial one day, and I just gently polish the edges and darken them so the top won't cut you. All right, so candle product, 100% beeswax candle today for candle, candle making 101, corona, coronavirus cancellation. Let's see, I called it coronavirus abolishment. All right, so the first thing that we need to do is go and get the wax that I melted, and um, we will prime our wick. Think good thoughts, I'll be right back. Just spilled beeswax on the counter. Fortunately, beeswax is so nice and clean it just peels right off. All right, I have beeswax, a small amount in my copper pouring, it's a measuring cup, which I have never used before. So we'll see how that works out. All right, so square braid cotton wick. I'll explain about wick sizes in another tutorial, but this is um, size one slash zero, All right? I like to prime my wick for a number of reasons. I like to soak up the beeswax before I put it into the container candle because it stiffens it and helps it stand up and it also pre-absorbs the wax. A lot of candles you don't have to do that, 
but it's the way I started and so I actually enjoy it. I have my parchment paper over here and so I'll just go ahead and let that cool for a moment. All right, so then the next step will to be to put our wick tabs on to the string beeswax. This looks pretty cool. All right, so we'll take this, it's still um, warm to the touch. Okay. I will take this wick tab and I will place it on the wick. No perfectionist tendencies here. See, I like this pointed end. So I'm going to thread this one on. I'm going to thread this one on. Pull them all the way down to the very end. And then I'm going to take my needle nose pliers and I'm going to crimp the wick tab securely and firmly onto the end of the wick. Okay. And then I'm going to see about how much wick I need. I don't like to waste it. So I'm going to move my next one just right above this. So I have a little bit sticking up, so that should be about good. I'm going to crimp this second one on here, like this. And squeeze. Okay. I'm going to take this, trim it. I'm going quickly for the sake of the video. I don't want it to be so long. All right. And voila, we flatten these out. Flatten them out. And they will like look like this. Okay. So we take our adhesive, double-sided, high heat, resistant glue dot made by 3M or another company. This wick dot is too big for the wick tab, but it still will work. So I will stick the, dun, dun, dun. we'll stick these here like that. All right, next. I will remove our okay. All right. So we'll take the adhesive off the other side and we will place it gently in the bottom of the recycled glass bottle, like so. You can either use a bamboo skewer to tamp it down, or something like an awl to tamp it down. So I like to just make sure that it is very much adhered to the bottom of my glass. And I already cleaned this 
I use Myers glass cleaner to clean my bottle before I attach the wicks to the bottom of the glass to make sure that it's dry and clean and grease free, oil free. All right, so now we're about to pour our candle already and um, we need to make sure that the wicks stay in place. So you can either do that with a fancy wick sustainer tool like so. But if you didn't have that, you could use a couple of bamboo skewers or if it's a smaller candle, toothpicks tied together with or wrapped together with tape on the end would work like this. Spreading them apart, putting them on, and making sure that I'll do it this way for today because this is how I normally do it and how I like to do it. So I just hold this here and I bend the wicks over the edge of one of the bamboo skewers, kind of pinch these together in the middle, and then I'm able to align my flames. I'm making a twin flame candle and um, so I like them to be perfectly centered. Now, if the wicks move when we pour the candle wax into the container, we will still be able to realign them. All right, let's take a look and see if we can pour this gently into the space. Between the bamboo skewer and the edge of the glass. All right, so this was not a clean pour with this um, copper measuring cup because I didn't, it's got such a wide base, I didn't tilt it. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. I run downstairs. I'm going to get the rest of the wax in the big pour pot, and I'm going to correct this issue because you can see if you look right back here, right back here, I have wax only halfway full and up the side of the of the glass. All right, so think good thoughts. Coronavirus cancellation. Something funny has happened since we've been having this quiet time and this reset. Things that seem to be so important before just don't seem to be that important anymore. I really do have perfectionist tendencies, but I realize there's just absolutely no need. Just be me. You do you, I do me, and here we be. Okay, it's past midnight. All right, here comes the correctional pour. <laughs> Making up all kinds of words and phrases tonight. So we're gonna use the pour pot I normally use, and you'll see the stream of beeswax coming down here. 
Peace, love, and happiness, and health and wellness. And I just now corrected my pour. You can see that second layer that just went into the candle. And it'll melt and blend in. It's starting to cool. It'll get lighter, beautiful golden color. I'm going to let that sit a minute and I guess we can think a few more good thoughts. Maybe I'll pull a card while we're waiting before I sign off on this video. Let's pull a card for coronavirus cancellation. candle cool to make sure we cement our intentions literally and figuratively. It is 1235 in the eastern part of the United States. And I am going to shuffle the Archangel Metatron self-mastery oracle card deck from Amanda Ellis as we send out our prayers for health, wellness, healing, love, unity, and joy. It's very, very important right now. going into our beautiful candle reset. Candle quarantine! Alright, I wonder if I can do this right here. Okay, so, I probably can. This is the deck we're using. See, even Metatron has a beautiful golden glow and globe and aura. Same color as our beeswax. Which one shall it be? Ooh, I see it. Do you see it? It's this one right here. Let's see what it says. Ha <laughs> ha! Of course it does. It says yellow. Joy and happiness. Joy and happiness. Joy and happiness is the number one card. Oh my goodness, such a perfect match because I just talked about needing unity or asking for unity which is a one, and asking for joy, 
And we got our match. You saw it right before my very eyes. All right. Here we go. Meanwhile, I didn't center my wicks. But I think they're going to be okay. Hoi, 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 hoi. Card number one links to the sun, your source of light, heat, and life on this great earth. The masculine energy of the sun is strong. Feel the magnificence of the yellow healing ray penetrating deep into your cells, lifting them and all parts of you to create joy and happiness and see the beauty that is around you. Imagine your organs in every part of your, every part of you smiling. How wonderful does that feel? To absorb the gifts and blessings of yellow is to allow in vibrations of happiness, joy, laughter, childhood innocence, play, and the sun as the life force of our world. We need the sun's warmth to keep us alive and to create growth and vitality. To turn away from the brightest shades of the color spectrum is to turn away and hide from life itself. Instead, look again at how this potent color may help you in your life right now. One of nature's three primary colors, yellow is a building block. Building block. For so many other tones and shades, just as the sun is a primary source for so many areas of life. Let it lift your spirits and mood, reminding you of the perfection of a warm summer day. Imagine a scent of flowers in a garden, the height of a sunflower, the blossoming of nature's beauty, all made radiant by the sun. Now, know, too, that this image of the sun works directly on your solar plexus chakra to put you back into your power and centered place. Take a moment to think about your core strength. Does it feel supported and strong or weak and vulnerable? If it needs a boost, visualize yellow rays lifting any heaviness or fear and bring in pure source energy from the sun itself to the center of you. Tune into your stomach as well and see if it is happy with what, is, what it has been fed, both in terms of food and thoughts all of which have to be digested here. Maybe there is a need for lighter, fresher food or bright, positive affirmations. The yellow ray creates a path back to the positivity and well-being that is always available to you. Breathe in its beauty and light and let it bring you relief from all that is destructive or troublesome. The bee at the center of this card symbolizes the need to reach out to others and be sociable and appreciate what others can bring to our lives. Bees are creatures that swarm together and work together for a common good. So this is highlighted to you now as well. The sweet honey nectar they produce by pulling together represents the reward for their effort. Yellow also reminds us not to be so serious all of the time but to have a childlike curiosity for life's riches and not to fear life, but to find a place for doing what we love and being with those who make us content. The yellow ray is a reminder too that after any storm we pass through in life that knocks us down and saddens us, the sun's energy can restore us back to our prolific best, happy in who we are and what we do. Oh my goodness, that is a perfect match for our beeswax candle. All right. Thank you so much for that. Yellow, 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 yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. And so here we have... Ta-da! And take our spreader, wick sustainer, wick spacer off. And we will, 
All right, because I got a little distracted with this camera videoing situation, my wicks moved a little farther apart, but it's gonna be okay because I will trim them like so. Oh goodness gracious, did you see what just happened? Well, I must not have crimped this properly on the bottom and it just pulled right out, which does happen from time to time. So I'll show you how to fix that in my next video. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and light this one probably tomorrow. A little disappointed in that, but that's okay. We were all talking about unity. So instead of the twin flame candle, which is over here, we now have a unity candle. So I'll probably let this one sit overnight and I will burn it for a while. It will probably tunnel down and then I will maybe use it for showing how to get the wax out easily. And we will pour that wax back into the bigger, greater hole and uh, use it again. All right. And on that note, I shall say, Juliana Sproles, signing out. Be well.